So, thank you, Ezra. I love you too. Ezra was doing hemp for the homeless today. He woke up this morning and donated boxes and boxes of brand new hemp gear to the homeless. I mean, it's just amazing. I'm Ezra Swerferman, or Ez, a documentary filmmaker and photographer up in Montreal, Canada. I'm also a huge hemp fan. Been one for 25 years now. I eat it, I wear it, I share it, I drink it, I think it. You can basically say I'm hemp to toe on this stuff. Who wouldn't love a plant so infinitely versatile? And one that's so beneficial for the environment. It's great for the soil, for the farmer, for the air, for the birds, and for the bees. About 12 years ago, I won $500 in a contest, and instead of buying myself more hemp, I had a brainwave to buy hemp for people in need. So I contacted all the best hemp companies I knew and invited them to sell me or donate functional, nutritious, and eco-friendly hemp products for a project I called Hemp for the Homeless. Hemp's a high-protein, high-omega superfood, and you can make some of the most durable clothing out of its super strong fibers. I gathered everything up into hemp tote bags that I called hemp help kits. I loaded up my car and gave them out downtown to three homeless organizations and people in need out on the cold streets. Nine years later, in 2016, I hit the jackpot again. I was chosen as the world's first artist in residence at a company that grows fields and fields of hemp, Canopy Growth. It was a dream gig that supported my art and my travels. I got to visit places like Los Angeles, New York, Nashville, Kentucky, Vermont, Jamaica, Amsterdam, and Toronto. The highlight, though, was flying to Colorado to attend the NOCO Hemp Expo, the world's largest hemp trade show. NOCO is a hemp wonderland. I connected with everyone from industry innovators to like-minded hemp lovers. I was blown away by all the eco-friendly creations on display, from clothing to food, plastics to biocomposites, fiber, hempcrete, and so much more. I was so inspired that I decided to try an experiment. I asked companies if they contribute to a reboot of my Hemp for the Homeless project. The response was phenomenal. A buddy and I collected enough hemp help kits to give them out on the streets of Denver, where homelessness is prevalent. Hi, I'm Ezra. Nice Ezra. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you use a pair of socks? I can use a pair of socks. Okay. I appreciate that very There's much. There's a t-shirt. And this is for you. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. Much, thank you so much. Appreciate it. A year later, I was invited back to NOCO as a speaker on the main stage, alongside people who saw hemp as part of the solution to climate change. We need hemp. It's so healthy that it will regenerate our bodies, it will regenerate our soil, our atmosphere, our earth. And we need to make sure that we're going to lead into a sustainable future that we can build on. Thanks, guys. Good afternoon, everybody. These bags here are something that I call a hemp help kit. Hemp for the Homeless is taking these functional and nutritious goods and then getting them out to people on the streets who need them. Spread the love. Thanks. After my presentation, more than 20 companies pledged to support the project with useful hemp items. It felt so meaningful to put all this generosity to good use. We connected with an organization that advocates for the thousands of people living out on the streets. Denver Homeless Out Loud. Hygiene is a big need on the street, so it'll really help folks out a lot. This is for you. There's some soap, some clothing. In 2019, I was back at NOCO, this time with Canopy Growth as the project's lead sponsor, helping us reach more people than ever. With hundreds of booths and 10,000 attendees, NOCO was absolutely booming, and I was honored to speak again about our project. Our sponsors from the previous two years came prepared with twice as many products, and new sponsors hopped on board too. More than 25 partners backed this year's effort with products that included organic hemp lip balm, warm clothing, and even handmade hemp pouches filled with Dr. Bronner's toothpaste 
and hand sanitizer. This comes from Nepal. This is the raw hemp. Hemp for the homeless tomorrow morning. We packed up the boxes upon boxes of goods and zipped downtown into the heart of the homeless crisis. We returned to Denver Homeless Out Loud for assembly and distribution. Our team had the support of a kind-hearted group of hemp-loving volunteers to get everything ready for the streets. We have one hemp bag, tote bag, which is very useful. All of us understood how much immediate impact these kits would bring to those who needed them most. about a hundred bags. I'd love to see this project continue to grow from coast to coast. If you'd like to sponsor, donate, or help out in any way, please reach out. Let's connect. Run for the homeless! I am so grateful to my team, our volunteers, and all our sponsors and partners, especially Canopy Growth and Dr. Bronner's, for being by my side along this journey. Nice to meet you. Take good care.